We are here with Mario Centino. He is the president of the Eurogroup Ministers uh, this year. And it's been an interesting year for you. <laughs> Just this last week, you've got two new governments, one in Spain, one in Italy. What can you tell us about what you know about the Italian government? Good morning. Uh, well, this is democracy at play. Uh, we have to continue working um, with all countries uh, in Europe to progress in our agenda. Um, I'm looking forward to meet uh, the two new finance ministers. Um, it's going to be uh, a continuation of what we've been uh, observing in Europe. We have an agenda and we have to pursue this agenda. Do you think that it is going to be a continuation, particularly with the Italians? Do you know Giovanni Tria, the new finance minister, because he's written about the need to prepare for a country leaving the Eurozone? Well, uh, I don't know him personally, but uh, uh, we know uh, that Italy uh, is a founding father of the European Union. Uh, the Italian uh, perspective on Europe is very important uh, and um, we are going to continue the discussion to make the Eurozone a more robust uh, economic and monetary union and that's, uh, that's the crucial thing for us. Given uh, the remarks that the coalition partners have made in the past and TRIA's writings, uh, are you concerned that Italy may be less than enthusiastic about staying in the Union? We need to make the uh, Eurozone and the Euro, our common currency, uh, a source uh, of enthusiasm for everyone. Because it is uh, a crucial element for uh, the de development of our economies and I'm sure that we will be able to make it. Will the uh, Eurogroup do anything to try to convince Italy to stay in? I'm particularly thinking of perhaps an aid package for use with the migrant issue in Italy. Well, the, the political agenda in each of our countries is quite uh, broad. We need, again, to uh, make sure that uh, we provide economic uh, conditions for uh, our people and that's, that's the goal uh, of, of the discussions we have in Europe. Is there an appetite to provide more to Italy under these circumstances? Well, the, the rules that we, that we construct uh, around uh, our common currency uh, are equal to uh, all member states. Uh, we uh, think they have to be applied in a flexible way so that we can adapt uh, to the economic circumstances uh, at any moment in time. But they are uh, quite robust uh, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we will be able to continue uh, this process uh, uh, with Italy on board. Do you think it slows the pace of reforms in uh, the Eurozone if Italy is more reluctant? The political cycle in our countries is very important uh, to promote uh, to promote this uh, decision-making process. Uh, I said that uh, at the beginning of the year when I uh, uh, took my position uh, as president of the Eurogroup. Uh, we've been observing uh, th this overlapping of political cycles. Uh, this uh, will not stop uh, our work. Uh, it has to uh, reinforce it from the position in which we are in. So uh, there is a new government in both Spain and Italy. We have to work with the, these governments and, uh, and continue uh, our job. Uh, the Spanish government, not as big a change. Uh, what do you think of uh, the new administration there? Uh, they're more friendly towards the Eurogroup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, this is a domestic issue in Spain. It is the discussion there is not about Europe, uh, which is uh, good. Uh, but uh, yes, I mean, we, can, we will continue to work with Spain. I've been working very closely with uh, uh, the two previous uh, finance ministers of Spain, and I'm sure that uh, it will continue to be like that. Uh, the Catalan situation in Spain has been tapped down for the time being, but it still exists, and you've got the populist parties taking over in Italy. Are you concerned that populist is still on the rise in Europe? We need to combat populism uh, with uh, pursuing our agenda on a very patient way in the, the sense that we need to uh, be quite assertive uh, on, on, on pursuing it uh, and deal uh, with, um, 
with the, the aspirations of, of the citizens in a positive way so that we really can meet uh, those uh, aspirations and, and, and provide answers uh, that, uh, that have as an ultimate goal uh, the progress uh, of our economic and monetary union. As you know, we are in a very good uh, path uh, of growth uh, and employment in Europe is uh, at uh, its lowest levels for many, many years. Uh, wages uh, are increasing. These are all good news. We just have to make those good news um, uh, uh, understand to everyone and uh, and provide uh, the economic uh, area of the euro uh, with uh, more robust institutions. The political instability in Italy did shoot through financial markets this week. Were you worried at all about the impact on Portugal? It's seen by many as the most vulnerable country to something like that. Well, when you are in an economic and monetary union, uh, this type of events, uh, when they occur, uh, they spread uh, across across the area. Uh, some countries, the so-called peripheral countries, uh, tend uh, to be more uh, at stake for that. Uh, but uh, as we uh, also observe today, especially again, there was a strong correction uh, in, in, the, in the markets. Uh, I think we need to work uh, from a political perspective uh, to provide confidence to everyone, uh, to all agents uh, in, these, in these markets uh, uh, of uh, our ultimate goal. Uh, and that's and that's uh, will that will be reassuring for everyone for sure uh, shifting gears can you tell me the minister's general feeling here uh, about the united states and tariffs oh, this is a decision that uh, we all regret very much i must say uh, it entails uh, a reaction uh, from among allies, long-term partners, uh, in a specific issue uh, that was supposed to, to bring uh, uh, our economies forward. Uh, we all know that trade benefits uh, uh, everyone. If it's fair uh, and, uh, and free, uh, we need to uh, continue the multilateral discussions uh, with the WTO uh, rules um, behind it, and those discussions are very, very important uh, to, to our future, and we must stress that uh, this is the way to go. This, it's, it's, very, it's, very, it's very, I am very uh, skeptical that uh, this type of uh, trade wars uh, will uh, at the end of the day result in the expected uh, results for, 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 it, for the countries that, that start them. So it's, uh, it's better for us to be cautious. Does it make it harder for uh, the finance ministers to work together? Uh, going forward? No, not at all. I mean, we really need to reinforce the work that we do together uh, to make sure that we can uh, overcome this uh, situation. It's very regrettable that we are uh, uh, it, with, the, with this process uh, at hand, but we need, we need to continue, uh, and uh, I'm sure that we will be able to reach a, a positive outcome to to everyone. We are worried about uh, the the imbalances that that we have uh, in the world, uh, both economic and social. So we need to work together to Mario. provide us. Mario Santino, thank you very much for joining us today here. Uh, the finance minister from Portugal, the president of the Eurogroup.